Welcome or welcome back. My name is Joanne and today's video is my update for Deca Panning which is created by Emily at Emily and Max. I will have her channel linked down in the description box like I always do in this video. I did this look in my makeup playtime that should already be up so I'll have that linked as well. And this is actually using the palette that I have in this project with another shimmer topped on top of it. But if you're interested in how I got this look, then I will again have that video linked down below and you can go check it out. I just don't want the water liner I paired with it. I wish I would have picked a different shade. Anyways, I don't even know which update this is. Sixth? Maybe? I don't know. You're gonna know from the title, but I don't know. I have three rollouts. One is very exciting because it's been here for a while. The other two I knew were going to be rollouts and yeah, I get to pick two new cards because I did get the red ace again last update. I do still have my get out of jail free card to use if needed. But with all that being said, let's get right into the updates. My first update, my L'Oreal bronzer. <sighs> the dip is so deep. Like, can you see that? How does this not have pan yet? I am literally like, do I pan? Do I pan? Do I pan? No, I don't. I did say that I was going to try to use this more often, as in wake up before work to do my makeup for work. But has that happened? No, it hasn't. So I've used this a total of 12 times since last update for a total of 47 uses and this had use coming into this project it had a little bit of a dip when i brought this in that's why i didn't think it was going to take this long but i think i think it has another 10 to 20 uses in it before i hit pan so hopefully this next update <laughs> we'll have to see but i am determined to hit pan in this i am determined I do like this. It's the bronzer I have on today. It's the bronzer that I've been using every time I do my makeup. But it's really nice. If you're looking for a nice drugstore bronzer, check out this L'Oreal Infallible one. It's such a nice formula. Very creamy. Blends out e so easily. Very nice. But I would like to have pan on it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My next product is one of my rollouts, which means... It's my Danessa Myricks primer! <laughs> Yay! Um, so my goal was to use this up. I did it. And I'm so excited because I already know what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to use it for my um, balm powder flushed samples that I have because I got a sample card of six of them when I ordered the Lightwork palette last holiday. So I'm just going to put them into here because it would just be easier to put a brush into here. But it's empty. I have used it another eight times for a total of 29 times in this project. And this already had a pan on it when I brought it in, I'm pretty sure. So that's quite a lot of usage for a deluxe sample size product. So excited that this one is finally rolling out and again, hopefully... My other long haul, well, I guess I have another long haul after that, huh? But hopefully my bronzer will be rolled out next update. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm going to stop talking about it. <laughs> Am I though? Probably not. <laughs> my last four products were all rolled in last time. The first is for the Prompt Affordable. And I brought in my Cosmic Beauty Muse palette, which is the palette on my eyes, minus the topper shimmer, and the inner corner. And my goal for this is to use it no pen left behind. This is what the palette looks like. And I have used these four shades. This green shimmer today, but again, it's topped with something else. And I used these two greens today as well. And I've used this shimmer. So I have over half the palette left to use. I'm going to try my hardest to get that done in the next month. Um, I've been enjoying using this palette. I mentioned in my makeup playtime that I did this look in. Not my favorite formula, um, but I love this color story so much. I mean, I love this green look. 
so pretty. <laughs> but so this will be staying in and again hopefully I'll get rolled out next month. My next prompt is collecting cobwebs and for that I brought in my Pet McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Moonlight. And I just had this in for five uses. This is what it's currently looking like. You can tell that I used it. I used it my five times. This is so pretty. I love this highlighter. It doesn't last the longest, I find, though. It doesn't really last. But it is pretty. And I'm glad I got my five uses out of it because... I don't think I used it before bringing it into this project. So glad I got use out of this one finally. The next one is my Joker. I pulled the Joker. <sighs> I kind of wanted it, but also it's the Joker. So the prompt is, are you joking me? So it's a product that you don't want to pan. And I decided to bring in my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Like a Pro. It's just a red lip liner. It's so creamy though, that's why I brought this one in. Cause it's so creamy that I'm like, maybe it'll go quick. But clearly I don't really wear red. There have been quite a few times where I'm like, oh, I could have put on a red lip today, but I didn't. But I did use it six times and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to show you my usage without showing you the last product. There's my usage and that's pretty good for using it six times and it doesn't include reapplications or anything. Um, it's just days that I used it. So I used it for six days. So I think I can get this done by the finale if I keep using it that much. Um, we'll see though. I gotta force myself to use it. But yeah, I'm actually glad that I brought this in because I've been enjoying wearing a red. I'm like, it looks so pretty. I've been pairing it with a couple different red lipsticks that I have in my collection and I've just been loving it. So actually glad that I brought this in to use. It's making me fall in love with red lips and just non-neutral brown lips that I have on today. My last product is for the prompt metallic, which was actually what my Danessa Myricks was in for as well. I brought in my House Labs blush in the shade Hibiscus Haze. Again, this had a five use goal on it and you can tell that it's been used. This is definitely more of a buildable formula and it's very messy around the edges. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very buildable formula. I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's just a nice everyday pinky, rosy type of shade. I love these blushes so much. I have two other shades and I want the red and the brown and the peach. I want all of them, okay? I want all the shades. I, I just love them, okay? What can I say? So let me go grab my cards. I'm gonna pull up the game board. I haven't looked at it yet, but let me go do that and I will come back and pull my cards with you guys. Again, I'm pulling two. Hopefully it's only two. Now that I said that, I'm gonna get the ace. Yep, or worse, or worse. But let me go do that really quick. Just to show you, I do have the Joker in here. Now I just gotta shuffle. I have the board up now. I just shuffled my cards. Let me cut the deck. Okay. Let's see what cards I get. I'm nervous. Oh God. <laughs> King of Diamonds. No. It's hit a pan. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a long think on this one. And then my second card. I don't think I've gotten a king yet this year. Eight of spades. Eight of spades. This time last year. So sometime, something that you bought around this time last year. I'm gonna have to look at that because I have no idea. So let me go pick out my products and I will come back to you. I've picked my products and I'm kind of excited for them. The first card I pulled is the King of Diamonds and a red king is to hit a pan and I decided to bring in an eyeshadow. So I decided to bring in a shade from my Odin's Eye and Angelica Little Ghost Palette. I haven't used either of these palettes yet, which is a shame. 
but I did just apply it to my eye look today. Um, I decided to go with the shade Cobweb because I figured I could use it for an inner corner for like every look. I mean, I just put it on, on top of Virgin from Urban Decay Naked. Yeah, this is, I literally just used this once. <laughs> so maybe I'll count that as a use. But I've literally just used the shade once. We'll see how long it takes to hit pan. But yeah, I'm excited to finally get use out of this palette because it's a gorgeous color story. If you can see it. It's a gorgeous color story. I've swatched it, but I haven't even used it. So maybe this will be the push I need to actually reach for this because it's so pretty. Even though Odin's Eye isn't my favorite formula. But I just figured an inner corner shade, easy to use for every look. My second card is the Eight of Spades, which is this time last year. So going through all my purchases and my emails around this time last year, I placed a Sephora order and I got the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. Crazy that this is like a year old now. How, where has time gone? It feels like I literally got this this year. But this is just a nice like nudie, pinky, like mauve type of lip liner. It's really pretty. I just figured it would be nice to get some use on that. Yes, I am trying to use up like a nude lip liner that I'm using today. But I just figured that would be nice to just put in the mix, get some use out of it. Because I do like it. It does last pretty well. And it's a decently creamy formula. And I don't know if I mentioned, <laughs> but this lip liner is in for five uses. Let me go over everything that's in this project. Hip pan on my bronzer. Hopefully, again, next month it will be done. Hip pan on the shade Cobweb right here. I don't know how long that's going to take. Use Cosmic Beauty Muse Note Pen Left Behind style. I have 11 more shades to use. So hopefully I can get that done in like two or three looks. And this will be done for the next update. I have my Blend Bunny lip liner in to use up. And I have my Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut lip liner for five uses. Those are all my products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're doing this project down in the comments. And I would love to come check you out. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day, a great night, whatever time it is for you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.